This video shows how to test either the ActaDongle or a dumb DMX controller for proper communication. So first, you want to confirm that your source of data, in this particular case an ActaDongle, does have power and is plugged up to the computer. In this particular case, we see that the power is applied with the orange light on the ActaDongle and that an output Keep Alive signal is going out because of the green flashing light. So, at this point, we can reasonably assume this is working correctly. Now, on this particular example, we have a 30-channel controller. It does have a status LED and a power LED. So we can see that the red LED is lit, showing that there is power to the unit, and there's a green light that will light up when we apply signal. Now, even if there is no data going back and forth between the dongle and the controller, in other words, an active sequence or you're instructing it to control the lights, there is still a keep alive signal that is constantly sent between the two units. So what we're gonna do is take a Cat5 cable. Don't use your own pre-made cables are the way to go. And I'm just going to plug it into there. And now these jacks can be either one. Uh, they are splitters, so they come in and then go out. It doesn't matter which one is which. So we're going to plug that in, and we can see that there is now a signal. The green light is now flashing, indicating that there is a Keep Alive signal. At this point, we can be relatively assured that there is communication between these two units, and that if there are continued problems, likely those problems either are addressing with the dip switches not set properly and corresponding to the application's configuration, or the configuration of the application that is sending the DMX data is not configured correctly, or the drivers are not properly set up in the PC. See our product page for more details if you are using the Acta dongle for driver setup. 